Hello, everyone. Hi, good to see you all tonight. I am Stacy with Masterpiece Jewelers in Daytona Beach, Florida, and I am joined by my sister, Tracy. Hello, good to see you all. She's also my best friend, but she's also an award-winning jewelry designer, and tonight she is going to design a piece of jewelry from scratch while we all watch in this program tonight is going to be less than an hour long. So that's pretty impressive. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> say I say it tonight you? because it's going to be a hard one. <laughs> yes. But mm -hmm. as we all know, you do enjoy a challenge. I so do. I really do. <laughs> if nothing else, um, you will be getting a challenge from, from the um, design tonight. Yes, and I will. So very good. I see folks already coming in, which is wonderful. And so Trey, um, talk about what we were doing at the store today. Okay, so we had a Kentucky Derby party. And I see Diane Sherman. She was there today with her beautiful hat. Um, Diane, did you make that hat for this Derby? I wondered that too. Yeah, Trey. it's really pretty. And the other question to Diane is, um, did she see her photo in the email? Oh, cool. <clears throat> because she was, excuse me, everyone, because she was in the email today. Very nice because she came in early. And what's what's fun is you get tickets for entry into raffles. We have just by entering into our store today That's and right. tomorrow. It's going on tomorrow also. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Kentucky Derby Party goes on through Friday until 5 p.m. tomorrow evening. So the store closes at 5.30. And we have a $100 gift card for the best hat, plus um, free raffle prizes for attending, for wearing a hat, for writing a review, and for each item that you purchase. Not just if you purchase, but for each item you purchase. So. Um, that's a lot of raffle tickets. It is. And we have five very nice gifts. Yes. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And I plan to, um, uh, to put those in the email tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, and on Facebook. I see Terry Rinko, who actually won last night's, uh, ring. That's right. Yes, in the comment did. section. Congratulations again. Yes. Congratulations on that. And speaking of that, so... Um, someone is going to win this necklace tonight. And by the way, it is a knockout. It and is. And in person, it's a knockout. It is absolutely a knockout. And as we know, um, every uh, Thursday night, Tracy gives away a sterling silver necklace valued at at least $100. This one is $129.95. So all you need to do is share to your Facebook feed to get one entry into the drawing tonight and then tag your Facebook friends and get one entry for each friend you tag up to 10 additional entries and someone will win before the end of the show tonight. So that's exciting as well. And I want to let you know, Diane said uh, she had made the hat last year, but she added more bling to it from Tara's card collection. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How neat is yeah. that? And uh, Terry said she will be coming in tomorrow for the festivities and jewelry. Okay, very good. Yes, because Terry, oh, I see that I have a typo in this. Hold, please. I mean, you don't really have to hold. But um, yes, uh, Terry will love the ring that she gets tomorrow. And of course, now, did you have any of the mint julep punch? Trend? I did, yes, because I, I mean, seriously, oh, you have to taste, you have to taste it. it. And then I gave Gail some because I figured Gail was a good tester too. So, <laughs> so we, we all had it first thing in the morning. <laughs> all right, very, oh, that's always a good way to start yeah. the day. Yeah. And by the way, here is a picture, speaking of first thing this morning, this is the ladies after they set up for the um, uh, Kentucky Derby party. And you can see they have their fascinators on or their Kentucky Derby um, hat, which you see back there on Susie. So I hope you all can join us tomorrow, eve, uh, tomorrow um, 11 to 5 p.m. for that. And Diane says, yes, the punch was delicious. Ooh. Thank you. Like, I would, I Thank you, because I, I worked on it. Yes, mm -hmm. she always does. <laughs> She's always 
very conscientious about that. So, okay, Trey, are you ready? I am. To begin? Yes. Wish us luck tonight. It's a toughie. Okay. Well, I don't know what this is about me doing these tough ones lately. But you don't need luck, Trey, because you have skills, seriously. Okay. So, so here we go. Okay. So let's go ahead. And because it is tough, I'm going to say that we're going to be doing it in the freehand where I put all the pieces together to make the piece of jewelry. Um, let's go ahead and start with a ring rail so that we can kind of stay on track as to where we're putting all of our um, stones and things tonight. Okay, so we're going to start with the seven. It just keeps us on track. Now let's go ahead and add um, some uh, diamonds, bling, and what we would call the shank to this particular design. Um, let's see. Actually, I did not use this. I went into a different area. All right. Um, which is a little hard to control, just to let you know. So, well, that'll make it all the more entertaining. For us. <laughs> yes. Or you shouldn't have even told us, and then we wouldn't have known. We You're right. Like, oh, that's just how it works. Okay. So, I'm going in with this particular piece, and we are going to just decorate the edges of this shank tonight. I think we can take this down a little bit. There we go. Giving us a little more room to see what's going on. Well, I'm going to be putting it on the side. So if we look at this ring, uh, top view. Oh, oh, things have changed oh. around. No, they haven't. Oh, thank goodness. Because <laughs> I was about to say like, an update. No, no, it's me. They have not updated this program for a long time. Okay, I don't think. That. <laughs> Which I actually really appreciate because I do not need constant updates. That's very on true. Things that I know how to use. That's very true. I think the thing that I would like updated would be the color of the stones. Yes. You know, yeah, like, I think we can all agree like we on need that. a pearl and we need some opal and just some other stones. And um, Trey, can you just very quickly tell us what? So what is that gray thin line? Oh, okay. So I know you kind of mentioned here we go. It, so if we line. look at it, it is just a line of diamonds. No, I mean. Oh, thin, the, this thin. here is just, this is where we need to stay within for it to be fitting a size seven. Okay. If here. the pieces go below this, it would be poking a person in their skin when they're wearing it in their finger. And if we were going above this, then it wouldn't be sitting properly. And it wouldn't be the right size. Yeah, it would not. Right. It would not be the right size. Thank you, Stacy. Okay. That so, is really, thank you so much for explaining that. Yep. Yeah, so this is a strip of diamonds and it's a curved strip, although I can make it completely straight, but this time we're going to use it in the curve. We actually are going to try to curve it a little bit more. Let's see if I'm going in the right direction. Go the other way. There we go holding my breath and let's maybe see if we make the length a little smaller if that will tighten it up there we go and this was something i had to learn today it's a little different oh, to actually size it so i think everything's looking good there let's get push it out just a touch to make sure we stay on that rail wouldn't it be nice if that rail could be like a shocking yellow or something like that so we yes. know but i think we're good Let's see, maybe just, oh no, see, that's just too much. Okay, I like that. I think that's good. And the nice thing is if we don't have it absolutely perfect, um, when we send it to the company, they will get it so that it's perfectly round and the size that we want. You know, we're just doing um, very close to being correct. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, okay so I'm going to take this ring and we are going to push it over to the side a little bit. Actually, we can do that by, whoops, it's going the wrong way. So that doesn't help me. Let's go back to where we were. Okay, so we're going to turn this just a touch like that. We're gonna push it out to the side a little bit. And then let's see here. We probably need to get in a little closer so you can see it. So they're opening this up a little bit so that we can add some stones into the center. Okay, that looks good. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and put it another piece. I think maybe it's top. There we go. So now we've got two 
shanks on this ring. And we will be able to push those closer together or farther apart in perfect unison, which I love. Mm -hmm. I, that mm -hmm. is so helpful. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this. And um, we actually are going to just use one piece because it will start getting confusing. So we just have one piece made now. There, It's no longer um, duplicated. And I mean, it's no longer um, on the top of itself. So we're just going to pull that one piece across and we're going to turn it. So it's going, let's see. I think that's right. Sometimes you can't tell. And I'm going to turn this. There we go. Flip it. That really is nice. it. We're going to flip yes. it over. And we need to get to the ring rail there. Tucked in beautifully. That's a little teeny bit more. And it's so interesting because let's go ahead and uh, have this so that it's the through finger view. And so we need these even on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little turn this way and push it up. And let's go ahead and give it a little bit more of a turn and push that up a little more and push it a little closer. Okay, so let's put the... Um, Uh, the grid on so we can see where we're at. So if we go from the red over to this grid here, we can see it's in that first grid that the bottom touches. So let's see, we'll go over and in this first grid, we're going to just push it down a little bit and I think we will have it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put it in the perspective view, which is much easier to work with. And we are going to duplicate this particular one now that we have it in place, or we're actually going to create another piece. And those again will move in unison, which is wonderful. Look at that. Um, this side is going to be slightly different. So I am mm -hmm. going to um, make go over here and we've got an A side and we've got A side up here and B side down there. Let's hope I'm right. It's probably the other way. And we're going to make it wider. Hopefully I'm, on, I'm correct. But the top, which I'm hoping is the A side. Nope. Oh. Okay, so we'll go back. It must be the B side. So we'll go down to the B side. That sounds like something um, from a, a record. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're on the B side. Yeah. Or it could be even cybersecurity um, fun event. That's B sides. Right. B sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to expand to a three millimeter. Yes. And I think we're going to, let's see, B. I think we're going to expand it a little bit more. We really want a oh, difference boy. between the two sides. Oh, I'm doing asymmetrical again. How interesting. I'm and like stuck in asymmetrical. Melinda reminds you to say. Oh, thanks, Melinda, because we certainly do not want to have to start over from this point. Oh, no, we do not. Okay, so we've got uh, two different looks here. Um, let's go ahead and make the diamonds on the B side bigger. So if we come down here. Uh, let's see where we're at. So we've got, oh, it's okay. We're, we're in, we don't have to worry about A side or B side. It's end position and start position right now on, on this, this particular one. Yeah. So let's see which one is the end position. So we, we are going to, well, let's see which is the start position. So the start position, we are going to make the diamonds much larger, like maybe a three millimeter. There we go. Okay, there we go. Wow. But what's happened is now all of it is a three millimeter. We <laughs> want the bottom to be thinner. So it's really nice. We can just click something here. Let's find it. Here we go. We can just click this here and we can change the end position size diamonds, which is right here. So now it automatically changed because it was set at 1.2, which is just one point diamond. 
And now we've got like massive at the top and smaller at the bottom. Oh uh, my, oh, but look oh. at, we have got something that would hurt your finger. We have a torture device right here. Right here, device. these diamonds are sticking through the bottom. So it wasn't prepared for us to do this. So now we need to go back and look at this. And it's really just the B side that needs to be thicker. So that is going to be the height. So let's go ahead and make that thicker, maybe 1.5. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. Now let's try the height and it's the B 1.7. Oops, Ooh. I think still a little bit more. So close. There we go. There. So now all the diamonds are hidden at the bottom. The culet is no longer, oh, I see a touch of it there. Oh, oh my too. goodness. Wow. The culet is no longer sticking through. So that's yeah. going to be nice and smooth on your finger. So that that is something we always have to watch for. Yes. Okay. So let's look at the other side. And we are going to do the same thing on this side. And let's go ahead and click those shanks. And we um, are going to hope that the B side is the top like it was before. So we're going to make those diamonds on the top just a little bit bigger, maybe a three millimeter. Could be too big. No, that's good. Oh, that's the shank. Okay. The shank is a three millimeter. That's right. And the bottom of the, the A side is a 2.25 millimeter. That's good because that's what the other side is going to be because we didn't change it at all. Now we are going to take the gems that are at the start position and make those a little bigger so that they're bigger at the top on this side also. So let's see if we can make this two millimeter big, which is a three point diamond. And so now we have, it's two oh, different yeah. looks, but they, uh-oh, uh -oh. there Oops. we go. The torture device is back on this side. <laughs> so we are going to make the shank thicker. So this is the shank and we're going to make it thicker. And um, they call that the height. So uh, we're going to make, it, it seems like it's a problem at the bottom on this one. So let's make the height on this like a 1.5. That's looking good. And I think we can so probably do something similar at the top. Let's see, 1.5, <clears throat> maybe a 1.8, a 1.7. That's better. Okay, there we go. So there's no diamonds coming through to poke your finger. And okay. Our finger, thank you for that, Okay. You are welcome <laughs> because you cannot you cannot stand a diamond poking your finger. It's so sharp. Any gemstones, Culet. Well, you the point were right about part, that. Um, you will not be able to tolerate that for any time at all. You were right. So now I'm looking at the picture of the one I did earlier, mm -hmm. and just so we can grab some more designs to go on it. So we're going to go in and we're going to get a couple of different gemstones or actually diamonds I started with. <clears throat> I oh, love, I know, I love this particular setting. Let's bring this in. And on one side that has the larger gems, we're going to put a little bit larger stone and the other side we'll put a little bit smaller. This one right now is huge <laughs> and it really doesn't fit the shape as to what we're wanting. We're going to try a trillion on this, which I think will be pretty. And it's going to be a oblong trillion. So I don't know what you would say. It actually probably has a name where it, a triangular shape where they are not all even sides. So let's go ahead and turn this so we get it going in the right direction. But let's make it smaller. I can't even believe you can stand to do anything with those V-shaped I know, I know. Okay, and let's take those V-shaped prongs out. You can see how distracting that is. There we go. Oh, and you know what? Let's go back for a minute because I'd like to... There we go. Oh, move back one more. Okay, I'd like to move this actually um, so that the right now it has a nice bend to it where it will go through your finger better when it's, you know, it's shaped along the shape, a curve of the ring. And I'd like to keep that way, that way. So we need to, 
rotate this so that it can keep its shape. So let's try here. Let's see what it does. Well, that's a little unusual. <laughs> you never know. I might not be able. Oh, my goodness. A little bit more. Doesn't give me that I can see. It doesn't give me any rhyme or reason as to what I'm doing. There we go. We're almost there. Okay, now if we put the grid back on and we look at this, the top view, oh, get the grid back on there, we can see we still are not quite right. Well, gosh, it's lined up with the grid, isn't it? It is. But Maybe it is right. But it's not lined up to the with the grid on the right-hand side. Okay, very good. There we go. Uh, and Yeah, I think it's lined up. Okay. Perfect. Margarita says, you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you so much. What a cheerleader. That was very sweet. There we go. It wouldn't take, it thought it had the V prongs off. It found it. It did. It did think it did. That, I believe you. Yeah. You almost sounded like you thought I thought it did. Sure, it thinks that way. Now we are very large because I hadn't sized it since I'd made that turn. So let's get a little closer in here. And let's bring it back. And let's make these have a little bit more of an opening. It's getting there. And then let's pull them apart a bit so that we can fit this V shape and uh, this triangular shape um, diamond in the center. And let's see if I have which direction I had these going. Yes, I had it going this way. And I actually decided to make the width a little bit smaller. And oh boy, that was not what I expected. Oh, that is unusual. I'm just going to grab this little guy and move him. And Melinda says, make sure to save. Here we go. Thank Actually, you. I like the shape of that. Yes, I like the shape of it too. But just to save us time tonight. Oh boy. <laughs> Go back, Tracy. You have to change it the other way. So let's rotate it again. See where we end up. You predicted this one will be a little challenging for the software. Yes, but I think the hardware, which is my mind, is a little more challenging. <laughs> Come on, little guy. So we're going to expand this and turn it 180 degrees at this point. See if that's possible. Oh, my goodness. That's not it's what I like wanted. Piece now. It looks like a piece of, um, of a pizza pie, really. Stacy, can you get your mind off of food? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we're going to get this eventually. So it's just bear like with me here. I do not know why I can't get the point out in front. Well, we're going to just move it physically. This is ridiculous. Oh, there you go. You know what Teresa says? There's always a workaround. Yes, and Teresa is so right and so positive. Mm -hmm. We actually... Um, use that saying quite a lot ever since she taught it to yes us. we do okay so that's looking good mm -hmm. we just need to make sure it's touching over here and it appears to be that's good okay so now let's go ahead and put a gem on the other side and let's go ahead and duplicate that and cindy says save soon okay i will thanks cindy between Melinda and Cindy, we're going to have this thing saved up. This is great. So I'm going to move this one out a little bit more. Well, that actually, we might as well move the one that we made out. Let's bring that back down and give it a turn. And it probably does not matter that we do do this particular step or not, because we are going to change it to a different stone. Oh, that's true, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this to a um, 
let's see, what do we have here? A cushion cut? Yeah. Oh, no, let's use this one for something different. Okay, is that an, what is that? Uh, Emerald Square. That's good. I just want it to be slightly different. Okay, let's go ahead and move it back into position between these shanks. And let's see where we're at. That's looking good. That's the only bad thing when you have it not going with the, um, where we're having, to, where it's not on the right angle here. I don't know if you can see where these are crisscrossing. When I pull them, they're going to pull them away from where I'm wanting them. Mm -hmm. But we are going to just work with that. Sometimes we just have to force it. <laughs> you have to um, just uh, make it to your bidding. Right? That's exactly right. So we're going to make that just a little bit smaller. Let me take a look at my picture here. Okay, and I think it needs to go out just a touch more. There we go. We'll just work it out there. And now let's go ahead and add some uh, baguettes. Yeah, some baguettes to it. Right, yeah. So I am going to uh, choose this baguette. We're not going to use a tapered baguette. How many times can Thank I say goodness. baguette? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And let's see where that baguette is. <laughs> so let's pull this guy up and turn him. Push him up a little bit more. He's a little tall, but he's looking real good. Well, let's go ahead and put him right in here and make sure he's connected to everything. That's always important. Let's make him a little shorter because we don't want him sticking out of the back of the ring. Well, we know that's not good. We Yes, we know that is not good at all. Push him on over. And um, this particular one looks good as far as I can tell there. Um, we can maybe make the height a little shorter still. And let's see what happens if we go ahead and put one on the side of itself. Yeah, that's looking good. It's filling it in just nicely. That's wonderful. Worked out perfect. Can't be happier. That's great. So now let's go ahead and bring in another set of baguettes. I think it's easier doing that than actually um, duplicating them and spinning them onto the other side. We as, you, learned. as you can see, sometimes they just don't go where I'm wanting them really well. And let's go ahead and give this a turn. Pull them up to the top so you all can see better. Bring him up to the top of the other side. Let's make him a little bit uh, shorter so he's not quite so tall. There we go. I think we really can pull him down a little bit because he doesn't appear to be coming out of the back, hurting anybody's fingers, which is so important. And let's go ahead and make sure this is in the position so that it's looking good on the top. And Trey, can you look straight down on it? I'm, I don't know if the right side of, now you turned it. So, okay. Is the right side touching on the, oh, I don't have a right side. Okay, so where you put the. Oh, sorry, everybody. Well, this is what it's going to start looking like. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting there. We, we still have to pull out just a little bit more there. So let's, I accidentally put this on. So there we go. All right, there you go. Which side? So on the side that has the, is is the princess cut actually? The oh, it isn't. Touching? It's floating. No. Okay. I, we can see it now. Thank you. There we go. And we're going to bring that out just a touch more. And we're going to see if we can't bring these over a little bit more. Oh, there you go. And bring this up a little bit more. And I really wanted two of those baguettes here. You know, every time I do these, I do it for the show. And then when I'm on the show, it's just a little bit different. 
So and let's go yes. ahead and make this a one millimeter and see where we're at. And only you actually know that. It, so yes, only I know it. it. Exactly. And so having that, we're going to go ahead and get another one right next to it. We could actually make this 1.5 millimeter, which is what I did earlier, but I just didn't think it was going to work. So, oh, oh my, boy, fifth, oh, that's boy. what happens when you put 15 there instead of 1.5. There we go. Let's Whoop. get back to normal here. Oh boy. Whew, you, you and me both, we didn't want to see that happen. Mm -hmm. That was just hideousness right there. And I went ahead and saved. Okay, and um, now you can see we're starting to connect over here, looking really good. And I want to tell you, you have um, three comments in a row. Uh, love baguettes. I love baguettes too, and oh, I love wow. the baguettes. Wow, that's great. I'm glad people like baguettes yeah. so much. Okay, so th because I use these particular um, uh, diamond strips, it makes it quite unusual on how I'm designing this particular ring, but I really felt like I had to use those strips so that I could get it larger at the end. And so that's what the difficulty is. If I it was understand. just ring shank, it would be one thing, but it's actually something that I've had to work at to... Um, because I wanted them larger and thinner at the bottom. I really felt that was important. I like I like that look. I, I like the look too. Mm -hmm. And so if I was doing this at our store, uh, this is what we would look like. And then I would go and make sure everything fit and worked properly. And then I'd get a resin on something like this, unless you were on a strict time schedule, we would bring I would bring a resin in and make sure everything was lined up right. So in the resin would be like a model of, I mean, an actual size model made in pl like a dark plastic. Or yes. Mm -hmm. That, well, resin, not plastic. And um, that would let us see in um, real life exactly how everything is fitting together. It would. And there's, it's actually very rare that there's anything unexpected. I agree. Say. I hardly ever have to change the models. Yes. Um, but I do like to bring them in just to be on the safe side. Absolutely. Um, only when it's something unusual like this. I mean, this is a lot of parts and pieces that are being put together. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate the other side too. And as you can see down below, there's all kinds of pieces. I hope that duplicated. No, I don't think it did. I think I, I think I moved. There we go. There we go. It's it's thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it finally did it. Okay, right. so we're gonna pull this down again, and just adjust this for the height, and. Um, I'm not doing too bad for time. No, you're doing excellent for as course, complex as this is. Hold, please. There we go. Part Save. of it had disappeared, Save. so Save. I got a little afraid there for a minute. Save. There we okay. go. Okay, and then um, wow. let's go ahead and get the shank on it. So wish me luck here. All right. I know you can do it. I'm going to try one, and I hope it's going to behave. I know that sounds a little scary. We're going to try this one. This is not what I used earlier. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. I liked that it had the flatter ends. So if this doesn't work, we will try what I used earlier, which. <laughs> Margarita says, look. <laughs> Thank you. Crossed. Thank you so much. So on this one, we are going to take this, the detailing off the sides. Okay. Which was Diamonds. probably hidden at this point. No, it was scroll design. Oh, scroll. And design. we're going to take the <laughs> gems off. And now let's see what we can do. Now, as you can see, it's covering up a lot. Let's see if we can move the position. The top position. Let's hope for the best. Oh, it's going the no. wrong way. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. It's always the opposite. <laughs> for some reason, it always is. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I th can't believe it. It's actually going pretty good here. Mm -hmm. 
And let's get the position a little bit tighter here so that it connects to the baguette. That seems important or eats them. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. Perfect. Now, as we can see, the bottom isn't quite right. That's because I'm using those pieces and we just have to work them around. So we're going to do this. I'm going to move uh, the part that we're working on up just a little bit and see if that takes care of it. And another trick I'm going to do is make it a little smaller, the shank, and I can tell them that I want it a little larger. But this way, I think it will pull in a little bit and make everything start fitting right. Maybe, maybe not. I like your um, positive attitude. Yes. Oh, Margarita is now giving you three fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you, Margarita. Hey, <laughs> you know that's here. right. Okay, so the shank is a little thick. And so let's go ahead and um, see if we can't make that shank thinner. It would be a surprise if we couldn't. Let's see here. The width of it. Okay, the top width. Yeah, let's make that thinner because I think we will work with this a little better. And then um, let's make the bottom shank. It'd be funny if we can make that bigger. Okay, bottom shank width, top width, shank width, bottom width. There we go. Did it do it? Are you uh, no, I'm just looking to okay. see because I can't remember exactly what I did back here. Ooh. Definitely not the position I want to be in with all of you right this minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't remember what I did, but that's okay. We can make do this work. Else? Let's go ahead and duplicate this piece and see if that's what's going to take, take us in the right position. Okay. Okay, and now having this duplicated, let's pull it out to the side. There we go. And let's go ahead and see if we can't change the position on this to make it a little bit. Where is my position? Top profile position. So we are going to expand it and hope for the best again. I'm sorry to say I'm having to do that, but... All these pieces are, are a little different. And so we're just going to make this a little bit shorter. There we go. It's doing exactly what I want. Yay. Yeah. How lucky we are that it's working out just perfectly. Okay. Let's see here. I think we're pretty good there. And now so that we blend these two together, we have to push it over just a little bit. There we go. And let's push it down just a little bit. Everything moves. Once it gets so full, it everything moves. There we go. It got pushed too far. And I don't even, this, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, but I do not hear your fan <laughs> on your laptop struggling. So it's clearly not impressed as much as we are with this piece. <laughs> okay, so let's make this a little thinner. So the bottom shank Um, thickness at the bottom, we want to make thinner. And this is what I love. I love these challenges. So if you bring me a challenge, I am up for it, just to let you know. We also want to make the position just a little bit shorter. That's a bit too much. A and little bit more. To work on the back of it, like upside down. It is, because it almost doesn't want to stay there. Okay, we're getting there. We're almost there. So we can move this just a bit. And 
Let's go ahead and make that position a little bigger. I hope this is not like watching paint dry tonight. I would not worry because you're definitely um, in like intriguing us with all these pieces and parts and how you're moving them, Trey. Oh, good. We're so happy that you all are joining us this evening in um, a reminder in order to purchase, uh, in order to win um, the uh, $129 sterling silver um, necklace that Tracy is giving away this evening. Um, you want to share this live broadcast to your own um, Facebook page. That will give you one entry into the drawing, and then we'll give you an entry for each person that you tag, up to 10 additional entries. So you want to make sure to be entered so that you can possibly win this evening right before 8 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, so we're going to pretend like it's all blended just perfectly in the back because right, it would then. be it would be by the time it was all done. So uh, I know that we don't need to focus on that. Um, so wow, I know we only have a certain amount of time and we want to stick within that time period. So let's take the uh, grid off and let's take this off to see where we're at. And one of the other things wow. we can take off at this point is really the ring rail, which is the clear part right here. It drives you crazy if you don't have a ring that's completed in the front. Yes. Let's remove that completely. And then we won't have that line there. It didn't go away. Oh, there it, it is. It okay. takes Sorry. a minute. So now we're really starting to look good. This here, which is the trillion, I think I would make it just a little bit uh, wider. So we'll make it a 3.5. And the nice thing is we don't do it very often, but we can have certain stones cut for us. Yes. Um, if we were having Clay do something, he would be able to cut that uh, gem for us. Um, he's doing some right now um, that a person needed a replacement in a ring yeah. and um, we couldn't get the size. And so it's an old antique ring and he is doing one to match the other ones in, in the setting. That's amazing. And it is. So safe soon. Okay, I will. And I think I'm going to just try this on a hand. Let's, let's not worry if it pokes into her finger. That That's can right. all be adjusted. There we go. But it's oh, not. Wow. It's doing good. Let's see what the back of the ring looks like. Not bad at all. It is not bad. Not bad at all. It has a little bit more we have to work on there. But now let's get a distance away. I think if I was to, to finish this up a little more, I would probably, seeing it on her hand, I would go and take this particular centerpiece up more so that there wasn't such a big gap. And I would go ahead and move um, these up. They're probably going to start floating. But you almost need it on the hand to see. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then bring this one up too. There we go. So, so that it's filling in. What do I have here? Is that the shank? It is. So I would add, let's... Let's add something there. Let's add anything there. <laughs> Just so it's finished. Let's go ahead and add a baguette going the opposite direction. Since you all like baguettes so much, that might be a nice way to finish that off right I there. I love that. I love that. Trey. So we'll go ahead and add that baguette going in the opposite direction. Makes You've probably seen that in rings before where you have some going one way and some going the other. Of course, the baguette is within her finger at this point. All Let's right, bring it but, out to the okay. side. And up. There we go. Now we need to give it a turn. Boy, this is. Let's take her hand away. Wow, I was sorry. Say you can't even see what you're working with there. There it is, right there. Let's give it a turn. And let's flip it so it's so we can see it. Oh my! Let's go back because I think I flipped it in a little bit of a crazy direction. There we go. And it's awesome that you can see what you're working with, um, Trey, through all of those little handles and the little beads and balls of the 3D 
um, it, you know, working within 3D modeling. It You get kind of used to it after yeah. a while. It's quite amazing mm -hmm. when you do that. Oh, I love that baguette going. Yeah, just going a little across. something there. And um, on the one I had done earlier, and I think I have time. I know I, I, I'm just going to add this and then I will, I promise you, I will stop. But we, we want to see it render too. Yes. So it, this really will just take a moment. This yes, is not, not fancy. No, no problem. So I added these uh, moon shapes onto the end. I just thought it was a nice finishing touch instead of it being quite so square. Um, in a second, it will appear. <laughs> And then I also am hoping to get, um, there we go. Let me just throw this, let me just slap this on there. That's okay, Trey, keep your time. Okay, we got to quickly just turn it. They always come in a, a direction where we have to work with them a little bit. Isn't that funny? It's mm -hmm. like Murphy's Law. Oh, it's way down there. Oh. That we know it comes in right there. Let's pull it to one side. Oh, I love what you're doing. Yeah, it just love needed it. something more there. Oh, wow. I was going to take it down in size, but that got a little crazy. Yeah, so we've got just a nice finishing touch on here. Let's add it to... The other side there we go and but the um i plan on keeping the original side the same on the left hand side that is really cool trey now let's go ahead and render that i've been dying to see it yeah there we go <sighs> all right ah. <laughs> I knew this would be a toughie. It's a lot of little pieces, and I hope I, I hope I haven't lost anybody with so much maneuvering around. I appreciate that you make something so detailed like this during this show. Well, thank you. I, I like to show what this program can do yes. so that you can imagine whatever you want, and we can hopefully accomplish that for you. To me, that's really important. Um, I like these open rings, apparently. Yeah. I, I've seen so many of them, and I think they would be really fun to wear. We do have a ruby one in the store, I believe, if it hadn't sold an open, open, open. look like this with rubies mm -hmm. that we actually had purchased because I thought it was a fun ring. Yeah, that is so beautiful, Trent. And um, I really love this. Again, don't pay attention to the back there. Um, I really love this in the rose gold. I just thought it was such a pretty look. Lisa says, I love watching you move everything around. That oh. is so cool. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> That's very thoughtful. Absolutely. Very kind. And then, of course... Margarita says, it's so much fun seeing you creating bling bling. <laughs> well, that's true. All of us that like jewelry, I love to use the diamonds because yep. it just really makes for a, a shiny look. Also, it's your sister's birthstone, so that's important. That is important, yes. We've loved diamonds in the family for years. Yes, we have. This is beautiful. And the rose gold, I see exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I like the rose gold a lot. Wow. And it just really sparkles. Now, I certainly would love to take um, some um, it, comments on what you might like to see for some of the stones. We'll leave it in the rose gold while we change the stones unless I get another request. How does that sound? That sounds great, Trey. And Gail, who works for us, said wider bands are so popular right now. And this design is beautiful thank you and Gail. Gail would know because she works in the jewelry industry with us. oh yes absolutely i think we can probably only take maybe one suggestion tray okay for the first one that comes through with or, or maybe we will get none because people will think that it's absolutely <laughs> um perfect it's funny i said that and then margarita said it looks gorgeous just like that oh fantastic 
I have to say this one would be, my choice would be this in diamonds. Right now, I just thought I'd change it to sapphire in the center. Well, wait, we have a suggestion of that. Oh, okay. Um, with, oh my gosh, Trey, so gorgeous. So um, Kimberly says amethyst and diamond. Oh, amethyst so would be what great. You, oh my gosh, Trey, that's so beautiful. I love it even better. I can't believe I'm saying this. Like with the court, with the contrasting, you know how we're saying how I like contrast. Yes, you do. The contrasting color in the center. Okay, so we're going to change that to amethyst. Yes, we are. Oh. Oh yeah, that now that yes. is beautiful. Gorgeous. Look and at that. Render it. Yes, let us. me put it up here, nice and tall for everyone to really get a good look at. There we go. Yeah, I love the amethyst. That I wouldn't have. Is Beautiful. I wanted to pick that right off the bat. No. You know, the other thing is they also have, I don't know why I made this one so small. Oh, well. It's so tiny. So, tiny. Um, so we could do, I believe they have purple diamonds. So if we couldn't get the exact shape, we could do it in purple diamonds too. Wouldn't that be which would be luscious. Gorgeous. Absolutely. And do you have time to do um, one more from Melinda? Absolutely. I believe we do because it's pretty quick to do like a strip right down that center. Okay. So um, Melinda says ruby and black diamonds. Okay. And we will let you decide how you're going to incorporate uh, okay, those Designer choice. I'm still deciding as you can see. Hmm. I think that would be pretty maybe with the ruby right down the center. I think so too. And, and then let's get the black diamonds down here. Melinda, what um, what color metal would you like it to be? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops, I hope I didn't hit one of the rubies. Oh, well, if I did, we'll just change it back. That's right. Um, now, when you see Tracy, it looks like she's changing them all to rubies in this particular oh, case. Oh, yeah. But in fact, that is just the way that it selects them. It's with that red color. So now she's going to do, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's that's fun. Wow. That is so pretty. Um, so Melinda says white gold or rose gold. Okay, well, we've got, got the rose, rose rendering right, right now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see that that's open in the middle. Sometimes it's hard to know how to, to put it here so you can see it right. But the ruby and the black diamonds is very stunning. It is. Mm -hmm. This was a great suggestion. Wow. That is beautiful. Yeah. One more rendering on this one because I really do love well, this. Wait, what about doing a white? Doing oh, white let's do it in render. white since that was the other suggestion. Oh, sorry about that. You're right. Oh, please. There we go. Oh, wow. Get it so we can see what's going on here, hopefully. There we go. There we go. Fingers crossed. It's hard to place it with that opening, but I like that. That color combination is so pretty. Very striking mm -hmm. again. The black diamonds are, are really stand up nicely on against the white. They do. And like this is another one that's a um, a good example of using our friend Clay Zavas, who's our um, award winning gem cutter friend, to use his um, skills because those half moons. Um, Maybe a person would want to do them in all zircon. Oh yes, or black mm -hmm. sapphire. Absolutely, and he could cut those for you. He could. Oh boy, she's off and running. Oh now. no, that's okay because we have to. We have to go back to uh, the screen. I thought just the London blue topaz well, with the know. black. Ooh. I don't know how many I got. Oh, wow. <laughs> we can see it from this I angle at least. I know the over one's there. over there, but wow. Yeah, that's a pretty combination. Black and, Black uh, London, and London blue. blue. Oh, that's 
uh, I don't know if Rain is on here. She's been working an awful lot, but uh, she picked up her ring yesterday and yes. it was um, black diamond accents and uh, Clay's beautiful London blue uh, gemstones. That, two oh, of those. Were spectacular. It was. I'll have to do a show showing all the pieces again. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. it's time for that. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Last time I did it, I had to have my, you know, I had the carpal tunnel surgery. Oh, that's right. I don't want to have anything have that. like that. Yes. That's for sure. Let us not have mm -hmm. that. Okay, so we'll return back to you, Stace. I'll save in case anybody wants to make this, have us make this piece. Okay, very good. All right, I will come on back over here. Take us, bring us back. There we go. To, as they say, to big heads. That's what it's called, the big heads. Uh, All right. That was not named by a gen, genteel lady, the big heads. Okay. So that was very exciting. So um, a reminder that we are having our Kentucky Derby party going on right now. Um, it is going on through Friday, and uh, tomorrow it will be from 11 a.m., to 5 p.m. that we serve finger foods and delicious mint julep punch. We have a $100 gift card for the best hat, and you will get awesome free raffle prize tickets just for attending, for wearing a hat, and even for each item that you purchase. And speaking of that, all of the items are 25% off through tomorrow. Now, a week from, not a week from, I'm sorry, celebrating our moms this upcoming Wednesday, May 10th, we'll have a live online moms special edition jewelry sale. 18 giveaways in that evening, including the $500 diamond and rose gold heart-shaped ring you see here, um, totaling $1,500 in jewelry prizes and gift cards from Starbucks and Amazon. Make sure you note that um, in your calendar so that you do not miss our special edition live online jewelry sale. And that is next Wednesday, May 10th. And then on the 11th, we will once again have our live custom jewelry design along with my sister award-winning jewelry designer, Tracy. And just mentioning quickly that if you have unwanted jewelry that you are looking to sell or trade, we are um, glad to look at it for you. Please call and make an appointment or text and make an appointment. You can go to our website at tracyandstacy.com. Whoop, tracyandstacy.com. <laughs> One more time, tracyandstacy.com and click on the gold buying tab. There you will see this list plus other information about um, selling or trading with us. Okay, going back up to us again here. There we go. All right, there's only one thing to do, and that is to, to announce the winner. Again here. And there we go. All right, there's the winner one. is Nancy Long. Nancy oh, Long. Nancy. Congratulations. I must have said your middle name, not that it was your maiden name. Oh, that it would matter. <laughs> but okay, round of applause for you and um, so, as you know, all you need to do is come to the store and pick up your prize at your convenience. We are so happy that you joined us this evening. We love the camaraderie that we have all um, gotten to share here together on these Thursday night design alongs. And so I hope you will join us in the store tomorrow for our Kentucky Derby party. And if you are outside of the area, we will see you on Wednesday night. Whoops. Well, almost. On Wednesday night for our custom jewelry, uh, no, for our special edition live online yeah. jewelry sale. So, Can't wait. I, I know, me too. So until we see you again, stay sparkly, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. To schedule a free custom jewelry design appointment with Tracy, simply call or text us at 386-252-0010. Your appointment can be in person at Masterpiece Jewelers or online over Zoom. It's your choice.